Hi everyone, I'm Naomi and today I'm going to lead you through a yoga practice that you can do when you don't want to use your hands. So if you are struggling with wrist issues, if you have some kind of shoulder drama, if you just don't feel like putting your, your weight on your hands, your hands on the floor, this is the practice for you. It's also a really good practice for those of you that really want to rebuild your leg strength. Um, it'll be really great for your balance, for supporting healthy strength in your low back. Um, and it'll give you a lot of tools to practice your yoga a little bit more creatively. So instead of just doing like, you know, sun salutation after sun salutation, this is a new way to approach moving fluidly on your mats, moving creatively, even when you're not using your hands and you're not moving through like dog, plank, chaturanga, cobra, that old game. So let's get started. Come up to stand. <clears throat> now, as, as we go through this, there are gonna be times that you might wanna put your knee on the floor. So I've laid out a mat for myself, about halfway back on my mat. You might want that as well, just to help support your knees if your knees are gonna go down on the floor. It's just nice to have for good support. So that's why that's there for me. I recommend it for you if you like. Otherwise, choose your own adventure, y'all. All right, coming up to the front of your mat. Place your feet hip width apart. Stand evenly on your two feet, bring your palms together. Take full breath in, full breath out, release your arms, and inhale, reach your arms up. And as you exhale, stretch your arms all the way back up and down. Inhale, reach up. And as you exhale, stretch your arms all the way back up and down. Inhale, sweep up. And as you exhale, stretch them back up and down. One more time, inhale, reach up. And as you exhale, bring your palms together and fold forward. Inhale, fold. And as you exhale, fold down and in again. So you can release your head and neck, shake out your hair. I'm going ponytail free today. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Inhale, fold. Fill up through the back of your body. Exhale completely. And bring your hands back to your hips. Lengthen through your spine. Inhale as you come all the way up. You can Flip your hair out of the way if you need to. <laughs> inhale your arms up. Take a lot of your left forearm with your right hand. Stretch up as you inhale. Exhale, stretch it over to your right. Stay steady through your legs. Inhale as you come on back up. Take hold of your right forearm. Stretch up over to your left. Inhale up. Separate your arms and lift your chest. Exhale. Fold all the way forward. Inhale fully. Exhale completely. Give your knees a little bit of a bend. Rest your forearms on your thighs. And this is going to be the beginning for a lot of the ways that you're going to transition. So a lot of what we're going to focus on today is how to transition into and out of poses when you can't use your hands. So you want to get really good at this <clears throat> chair pose. I call it public restroom pose. It's a little bit more accurate. But this is where you're going to start to build strength in your legs. You don't need these bad girls or boys, as the case may be. Okay, straighten your legs and fold. Inhale fully. Exhale again. Bend your knees. Lower your hips. Bring your forearms to your thighs. Dig your heels into the floor. Shift your booty back like you're trying to get some attention. Send your butt a little bit lower. Then reach your arms straight out in front of you. Take full breath in. Full breath out. And then fold one more time. Inhale fully, exhale completely. Bend your knees, lower your hips. Dig your heels into the ground, bring your forearms to your thighs. A full breath in, full breath out. And push down through your legs. Inhale as you stretch all the way up. Whew, relief. And then exhale, bend your knees again, bring your elbows down to your thighs. Now, we're going to transition. So keep your forearms on your thighs for the moment. Shift your weight into your left leg, lift your right heel up, and then push your arms forward, leg back, as you come into a lunge with your arms straight out. And then step forward again, rest your elbows on your thighs, and then reach your arms forward, left leg back. And step, left leg up again, elbows on your thighs, and then one more time, both sides. Right leg back, arms forward, this time, reach your arms all the way up, check it out. <laughs> And then come forward again, pull it back in, elbows to your thighs, and then stretch your arms forward, left leg back, reach your arms 
all the way up. Shift forward again and push elbows back to your thighs. Fold. Full breath in, full breath out. Bring your hands to your hips, elbows to the sky. Inhale as you come all the way up, reach your arms up. Take a hold of your left forearm with your right hand, stretch up as you inhale. Exhale over to your right. Inhale as you come on back up. Take a hold of your right forearm, stretch up over to your left. Inhale up, separate your arms, lift your chest, and then bend your knees and fold into Utkatasana or public rescue pose. So we're just going to add on, full breath in, and then shoot your left leg back, arms forward. Then take your arms up to come up into this high lunge. Take a hold of your right forearm with your left hand, left forearm with your right hand. Take a full breath in. As you exhale, give yourself a little side body stretch here. And inhale as you come on back up, and as you exhale, turn it open into warrior two. You take a full breath in, full breath out, left hand to left thigh or right arm up alongside your ear. Inhale fully, and then exhale, come all the way back up, bring your palms together, lift your left heel up, and step forward, Utkatasana. Ooh, that was an exciting adventure. And then take your arms forward, right leg back. Inhale as you reach your arms up, take hold of your right forearm with your left hand, this time for real. Reach up, stretch over to your left, and take a full breath in, full breath out, and then inhale as you take your arms back up, open it up, warrior two. Inhale fully, exhale, sink a little lower. Keep your left knee in line with your left ankle. Reach your right hand back for your right thigh, shin, whatever you got going on. And stretch through the sides of your body without letting your hips lift up. Instead, sink lower. Then inhale your arms back up, palms together, turn your torso forward, and step. Utkatasana. It should be big. You can make noise. It's okay. Full breath in, <laughs> full breath out, and fold. Inhale here. Exhale. Shake out your hair. <laughs> Root down through your legs. Bring your palms together, inhale, rise all the way up, reach up, and as you exhale, palms together in front of your heart. All right, let's keep going. Inhale, arms up, take a hold of your left forearm with your right hand. Reach up as you inhale, exhale, stretch over to your right. And on this time, extend your right arm parallel to your left arm. So I'm just gonna turn to the side so you can see what's happening. You squeeze your biceps towards one another, shift back. And then inhale as you come on back up, take a hold of your right forearm, reach up, go over to your left. And then extend your left arm parallel to your right again. Just gonna turn around so you can see what's happening. Imagine there's like a block in between your hands and squeeze it, or a ball of light, if that's what gets you going. And then inhale back up, reach up, fold forward as you exhale. With Tanasana, shake out that hair. It's a really bold move, actually, to do yoga without a hair tie. <laughs> Inhale fully. Exhale, bend your knees, lower your hips, flip your hair as you need to. Elbows on thighs. So this is a really good starting point if you need support as you stretch back. Otherwise, extend your arms straight forward and then step your right leg back. Okay, reach your arms up. So you've already been here. Good news. Take a hold of your right forearm with your left hand. Reach up and stretch over to your left. Now, extend your left arm parallel to your right arm. Okay, take a full breath in, full breath out, and transition. Put your right heel on the floor and reach your arms out so you're parallel to the earth. And this is really good for your core, too. So not only are your legs working, but your abdominal muscles are working, too. Congratulations. Inhale, come all the way up. And then extend your right hand back for your right thigh, left arm alongside your ear. Full breath in. Full breath out. Good one more. Full breath in. Go all the way back up. So you take your arms back in warrior two. Palms together. Turn. And then step with Katasana. Dig down. Inhale fully. 
exhale, take a little break, take some heat off those legs. And what's really cool is this Uttanasana, your forward bend, it starts to feel a little bit more like a resting pose. And you shouldn't really feel any weight in your hands here. If your hamstrings are feeling really tight, you can put a block underneath each hand. If you only have one, put it on the widest and bend your elbows out to the sides. Okay, so you want to give your shoulders some room. Bend your knees, flip your hair, <laughs> dig into your heels, full breath in. You know, you can go from here, you can step your leg back and take your arms forward, or you can start with your arms forward and then step your left leg back. Reach your arms up. Take a hold of your left forearm with your right hand, stretch up as you inhale. As you exhale, lengthen over to your right. Okay, now make it a little bit more interesting. You've really got to dig into your feet here. Like, I'm wobbling. That's normal. Standard, okay? Dig into your heel and then reach your right arm parallel to left arm. Okay, keep it as you turn your body to the left. Put your left heel on the floor. Continue to stretch out. You can feel those abdominal muscles shaking with pride. Full breath in. Full breath out. Lift your torso up. Reach your left hand for your left thigh, right arm up alongside your ear. Try not to change anything in your legs. Building strength in your legs. Full breath in. Full breath out. Lift your arms back up so you're back in warrior two. Palms together. Lift your left heel. Step forward. Elbows down. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Shake out that air. Oh, full breath in, full breath out. Bend your knees, lower your hips, flip that air, elbows to your thighs. And when I say elbows to thighs, you're like right above your knees, you can bring your palms together. Full breath in, full breath out. Now extend your arms up alongside your ears, dig into your heels, and then push down as you rise all the way up. Okay, now turn your palms to face forward, and I'm going to turn so you can see me. Palms face forward. Bend your elbows, drag them down through the air, engage your upper back, and re-extend. Bend your elbows, drag them down through the air to engage your upper back, re-extend. Pull down, engage your upper back, re-extend. Pull down, engage your upper back, re-extend. Pull down. So you're clawing the air like a baby tiger. You can growl like a baby tiger if you want. So it's like, ah. <laughs> and then back up. A few more times. Pull down so you feel your upper back engaging. Stretch up, not your neck. Pull down. Upper back working. Stretch up. Last time, pull down. Okay. Keep your legs strong, your core strong. Lift your chest. And then extend your arms straight out as you inhale. And exhale, fold all the way forward. Reach for the ground. Inhale fully, exhale completely. Okay, last time here, bend your knees, elbows to your thighs, right above your knees. Flip your hair, then elbows to thighs if you've opted for no hair tie today, just like I have. Full breath in, full breath out. Okay, now our position of your choice, you can start with your arms out or keep your elbows on your thighs, but arms forward, right leg back, lift your arms up. You take a full breath in, full breath out, sink a little lower. Again, full breath in, sink a little lower. Full breath in, sink a little lower. And then slowly, slowly, slowly lower your right knee all the way down. And then just for fun, lift it back up. So it shouldn't feel like a huge deal. If you need more support, hands to your thighs, hands to your front leg. A little bit easier that way. So lower down, lift up. One more time, lower down and rest there. Bring your hands to your front thigh. Push your hands into your thigh. So it's like you're trying to push your leg away from you. As you push your leg away from you, send your hips a little lower. And then bring your hands to your hips. Pull your elbows back. Lift your chest. Send your hips a little lower. And you might notice my back toes are curled under. It supports my knee a bit more. Really firm up your back leg also. Send your hips lower. And then take your arms up. Bend your elbows out to the sides like you did standing that tiger paw action. Lift your chest. Send your hips lower. I'm going to reach your arms straight out. That's too much. Keep them here in this tiger paw action. Then take one more full breath in. Okay, now as you exhale, lift your knee back up. Shift forward and 
step it up and fold. Well, that was, you know, no big deal. Inhale here. Let's do the second side. Exhale, bend your knees. Flip that hair out of the way. I'm regretting this. Elbows to your uh, knees, right above, your, uh, right above your knees, rather. A step, left leg back, arms forward. And then take your arms up again if that's too much. Hands to your hips is just fine. Okay, inhale, lift through your torso, exhale, hips down. Inhale, lift through your torso, exhale, hips down. Inhale, lift through your torso, exhale, hips down. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Touch your knee to the floor and then lift it back up. Slowly, 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 knee to the floor, lift it up. Slowly, 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 knee to the floor, leave it there. Hands to your front thigh briefly for this wonderful relief. Press your hands forward, round back to get a little bit more support in your core. And then take your hips down. Okay, then bring your hands to your hips for the moment. Lift up again with your torso. Hips lower. So you think like your pelvis is going down, your thigh is going down, but you're not lunging forward. Think straight down. Think lift up through your chest. Extend your arms, claw the air like a baby tiger, growl like a baby tiger, pull your elbows down, chest up. You can stay here or extend your arms. As you extend your arms, push into your front foot. Inhale fully. Okay, exhale. And this is different. Hands to your hips. Slide your right leg back to meet your left. You just sit back on your heels for a moment. You can have your toes curled under if you like. I call this toe torture. So you can have your toes curled under, you can have the tops of your feet down. Totally up to you. Take a few breaths. I know I need to catch my breath. In through your nose, out through your mouth. So if that was intense, just allow your heart rate to come down, recenter yourself. Thank your legs for doing such a great job so far. And then come up to your knees. So we're going to do a little camel action. And start with your hands on your hips and your toes curled under for sure so that you have more support for your knees and more action in your legs. Give your legs a good squeeze towards the center of your body and use your thumbs, so your hands on your hips, your thumbs pointing inward to pull in. And as you squeeze your thumbs in, lift. So you roll up through the sides of your body, pull your elbows back so your shoulder blades are supporting this lift in your heart. And use your thumbs to press down as you turn your chest upward. Now your head shouldn't have moved, right? So your head is still in line with your spine. So lift your chest, lift your chest up. Now you can keep your hands here or bring one hand to your ankle. Maybe bring it back up and the other hand to your ankle. Maybe back up. Maybe both hands to your ankles. Keep your legs super strong. If even this feels like too much for your wrists, keep your hands at your hips or interlace your fingers. Just a little bit more work for your core to be perfectly honest. And then come all the way up. And sit. And we'll do one more Vistrasana, one more camel pose. So, coming up to your knees. Curl your toes under to give yourself more support. Firm up your legs so your legs are holding you to your strength. Hands at your hips so your fingers wrap around, your thumbs are on the back. And that will allow you to squeeze your thumbs in so that you can support your low back and also press down. Lengthening down from your hips into the earth. Lengthen up through the sides of your body as you draw your shoulder blades in, chest up. Turn your heart up towards the ceiling. Keep squeezing your legs, keep squeezing your thumbs, press down. And you've got all those options for your arms. You keep your hands at your hips. You can interlace your fingers if you like. You can lean back. And keep your legs really strong as you lift all the way back up. And sit. And then, 
very gently. Take a seat with the soles of your feet together. <clears throat> a little Baddha Konasana. So you've really worked your legs today. We haven't done too many hip openers classically, so here we're just gonna do a few to reground and a little bit of twisting. Just sit up nice and long. Press your feet in towards one another as you draw up through your spine. Take a full breath in, full breath out. Don't try to force your knees down. Continue to lengthen up through your spine so that your low back is moving in and up instead of collapsing backwards. Just take a few breaths here. And then slide your legs into a comfortable cross-legged seat. Bring your left hand to the outside of your right knee. Your right fingertips very gently to the floor behind you, so they shouldn't be bearing weight. Take a full breath in. And as you exhale, twist. If this feels like too much for your hand, you can always use the back of your hand. Right? So if you're using the back of your hand, that's going to give you some good stretching for your wrist. And then come on back to your center. Go to the other side. Bring your right hand to your left knee. And again, you can use the back of your hand, which will stretch out the front of your wrist a little bit more, or the underside, depending on how you look at it. Lengthen up as you inhale, exhale, twist. And then inhale back to center. All right, so that was about 20 minutes of yoga with no hands supporting you. Hopefully it felt really, really good. Hopefully it felt really empowering, right? So if you have wrist issues, if you have shoulder and neck stuff, if you for any reason just don't want to put your hands on the floor, and there are plenty of reasons, this hopefully gives you at least a little bit of a glimmer of hope <laughs> that there's more to yoga than just sun salutations, but also a reminder of actually what you can do even when you're working with an injury or an illness, or if you're struggling with recurring pain or trauma. Um, please let me know what you think. Let me know how this went for you. Hopefully it, it did give you a little bit of insight into what is possible. And uh, I would love to hear how you liked it, to hear your opinions, and, and hear if you'd like more of the same. If you want more of this kind of practice, put um, a big yes, please in the comments and I will make it happen. As always, thank you for sharing a little bit of time with me on your mat today. Um, I love being here with you and I look forward to doing more in the future. See you next time.